Here I have something I haven't shown on video. This is the first circuit board I ever designed. It is very basic and not very well laid out, but it paved the way for many more PCBs to come. Now, when I think about it, designing my own custom circuit boards has been one of the most important skills I've learned over the past few years. I'm not an expert by any means, but I can build some pretty cool and practical projects, like this custom audio amplifier and this battery charging module. If you like hobby electronics, there has never been a better time to start making your own custom circuit boards. Let me give you 5 reasons why you should learn PCB design and watch until the end for a free coupon to get you started. First of all, with a custom PCB you can make much better circuits. You can make them smaller, more reliable and more professional looking. If you go back and watch some of my earlier videos, you will see me using these prototyping boards. They are great to get you started and for building simple things quickly. But they have limitations. They are optimized for through-hole components, so it is tricky to use them with parts like USB ports. But a custom-designed PCB gives you access to so many more parts. For example, here is my breadboard power supply project. Look at how much smaller this voltage regulator is compared to this 7805, which a beginner might use. And notice how little space these surface mount resistors take up compared to a true hole component. And that is just the beginning. A custom PCB lets me use parts that would never fit on a breadboard, such as this tiny USB power delivery chip. Sure, you can buy modules with some useful integrated circuits, but not everything is available. And the modules on sale are usually made in the cheapest way possible. Speaking of prices, custom PCBs can be surprisingly inexpensive. Personally, I get my boards from JLC PCB, where prices start at just $2 for 5 pieces. Understandably, there are some limitations. For example, your board has to be within a certain size and not too complex. But even within these limits, you can make plenty of useful stuff. Shipping is not expensive either, as long as you are willing to wait. The cheapest shipping option is usually around $2, and it takes around 2 weeks for the PCBs to arrive where I live. Things get more expensive if you want a fully assembled PCB with all components professionally soldered on it. There are processing fees, as well as additional fees for non-basic components, and you have to buy at least two assembled pieces. So for example, five of these amplifier modules cost about $50 to produce, which is $10 per module. But still, the optional professional PCB assembly service is great to have, especially for parts that are too small to solder by hand. And you can get a lower price if you choose to solder some of the parts yourself, like the connectors and pin headers. And you know what you can do with the extra modules you ordered? You can try selling them. If you build something on a prototyping board, chances are nobody is going to buy it. But a proper PCB with its professional look might get people interested. I haven't tried selling any of my designs, but people have asked me many times if they are for sale. My point is that if you want to try making money by selling DIY kits or perhaps custom modules, you will have to make your own PCB. Even a circuit board by itself can be a product. For example, some people sell circuit boards for hi-fi audio amplifiers and audio filters. And yes, I know modules exist, but when you make your own PCB, you can make it exactly as you want it. A prime example is this battery charging module that I made recently. Yes, it is more expensive than a basic charging module, but it fixes many of its drawbacks and has a holder for a battery which I specifically wanted. Another useful feature is the switch I added. It enables the battery output, so for example, this module can detect when a door is opened. Ok, but all of this PCB design stuff looks complicated. How do you learn? Well, personally, I just watched a ton of YouTube videos. There are many great in-depth tutorials from people who know a lot more than I do. I learned the basics of making PCBs by watching them and copying what they show. Again, I'm not an expert, but I'm confident you can learn a lot by watching free online tutorials. And finally, we have free access to powerful PCB design tools. Personally, I'm a fan of Easy EDA. Indeed, it is easy to use and it is well integrated with JLC PCB's services where I get my PCBs from. So if you want to get started, I have 100 coupons to give away, provided especially for my viewers by Easy EDA. 
you can use one to order circuit boards or for other GLC services like 3D printing or CNC manufacturing. Check the video description for all the details and let me know in the comments what you're going to make. As a reminder, I'm also on Patreon, where I post articles and share design files for my projects. It is also a good place to get in touch with me if you want to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.